The vegan muffin worked at NASA. Her ingredients included spelt, agave, vanilla. She was vegan technically because she didn't eat. Her main feeling most days was vague, low-level despair, which she usually experienced as a mildly distracting awareness that she had a worried expression on her face. She recently had read an article that said loneliness could condense organizationally into microscopic points of physical density, the presence of which could feel like a constant internal prodding. In this way, the article had said loneliness could physically insist that its subject find a companion. At NASA one night, the vegan muffin meaninglessly typed in G-chat that she wanted to move to Alaska. She usually returned to the office at night because she had no computer or internet at home. Everyone lives in Alaska now, responded the muffin's friend, who lived in Massachusetts and had two jobs on G-chat. It's kind of crazy, I think. The vegan muffin looked at the word crazy, feeling nauseated. Her eyes became unfocused, staring abstractly at the computer screen, which still sometimes seemed absurdly big like it had when she began working at NASA. The vegan muffin began to feel self-conscious about her existence, that her body, made of all organic ingredients with no artificial or natural flavors, was currently occupying an amount of space inside NASA's research headquarters at Cape Canaveral, seated on an $800 chair with egregiously bad posture and no concrete purpose in life. The vegan muffin vaguely began to consider how, in social situations, if she wasn't bored or nervous, her focus would almost always be on suppressing a nearly uncontrollable urge to pretty much beg the other muffin or muffins to tell her exactly what to do with her life. What food she should eat at what times in what amounts, if she should learn to play clarinet or flute or some other instrument, if she should convey more insecurities on the internet, and on her face, or gradually less, if she should focus on the muffins she liked most or that liked her most, or what, and she'd want to know why. The vegan muffin's posture was so bad that she was sliding off the chair. She fell to the floor where she lay motionless below her desk. She wasn't thinking about anything, it seemed. She concentrated on her brain. What was it doing? The vegan muffin realized a few minutes later that she was trying to suppress her nausea into non-existence and began to feel sympathy toward it, which made her feel less alone. But nausea, she knew, had no consciousness with which to sympathize, which meant, it seemed, that she was trying to suppress herself into non-existence. The vegan muffin felt completely alone. Complete she thought after a few seconds. She usually felt good after completing something.